Hello, I'm Daryl Leary, and I'm out flying my DJI Mavic Mini drone. I'm on the northwest corner of Edmonton, in between Edmonton and St. Albert, and I'm flying between John E. Poole Wetlands and Big Lake, which are part of the Lois Hole Centennial Provincial Park. So because I can't fly my drone in uh, the Lois Hole Centennial Provincial Park, because it is a provincial park, I'm flying just outside of the boundary of the provincial park. So sort of like on the corner looking in. So right now I'm at 162 feet above the ground and this flight is mostly just straight up and down more or less while rotating the drone to get uh, different views. So I believe I'm flying on Crown Land. I could be mistaken by that. Uh, this view right here is the Johnny e. Pool Wetlands that is part of the uh, S Lois Hole Provincial Park. And Big Lake is, is to your right. And it was a pretty nice day. The winds were uh, between five to seven miles per hour. So it was a, it was a pretty smooth flight to say the least. I'm uh, climbing up an altitude, 356 feet. And uh, so I'm, I'm going to stay just uh, just at 356 feet because it's just under 400 feet. And uh, now I'm rotating the drone to get a view of Big Lake. So uh, this is the biggest lake in the immediate Edmonton and surrounding areas of um, Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. And uh, this, uh, this river here that I'm following now is Sturgeon River and it actually flows through St. Albert. And St. Albert is just northwest, um, at the northwest corner of Edmonton, Alberta. Actually, my daughter lives in, in St. Albert. So I'm just taking a look at this highway here, watching the cars uh, drive down the highway. I like those drone shots watching cars drive. And I'm just uh, panning the area. I think this is kind of neat. These two pools of water and these cars drive in between. And this is the peninsula I'm on that you just uh, briefly saw there. So we had a bit of overcast skies, but it was it was it was good because when you have a bit of overcast then um, you don't get any sun glare when you're flying the drone. And uh, off in the distance uh, is downtown Edmonton, Alberta. So you can see downtown from St. Albert. Now I'm focusing the shot again on the Johnny e. Pool wetlands. I'm rotating the drone again because um, I just, I just want to get a nice 360 shot. Because there's a bunch of things happening here, right? I'm, I'm on the corner between Edmonton and St. Albert, and on the corner of Big Lake, and on the corner of the wetlands. There's a nice little pier there at the bottom center, just a bit off to the left. And uh, I guess I guess people boat in this lake, I don't know. Um, and uh, this is this is a nice little highway. There's uh, I don't know what these uh, these things are that are sticking out of the water by the bridge there uh, near the center of the frame, but but it's interesting, you know. I I I had been wanting to fly my drone in this area for a long time, so I guess there's some construction going on there. But I always like to fly my drone in areas where there's water and. Uh, because I think water makes things really interesting. You can see the clouds reflected off the water. That's cool. They're like big mirrors. And this is the peninsula I'm 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 flying on right now. So I was actually uh talking to a fellow photographer, um when I was flying the drone, so we were talking about cameras and the kinds of things that we'd like to shoot. He mentioned there was a beaver dam around here somewhere, but I never saw it. 
it's, uh, it looks like the lake is speckled with uh, little black dots. I don't know what, what those are. I don't know if they're birds or what I'm looking at exactly. But uh, all these drone videos I publish on YouTube are, are 1080 by 1920 or 1920 by 1080. So, <sighs> but uh, it was definitely... Um, it was it was a good flight. Everything went uh, very smoothly. Um, the place where I took the, took off with the drone, I had to lay down a um, uh, a thick book, just so the drone had, would have something flat and level to take off from, because otherwise uh, I'd be trying to take off from these really tall grasses. So there are the wetlands again and i think at this point i'm going to try to uh, inch a little closer to the wetlands and just get a bit of a closer look without actually going into the provincial park so can't fly drones in provincial parks so and these these are really nice uh wooden walkways that you can walk through the marsh and look at the wildlife this uh, up to the middle center, you see this uh, parking lot off to the left here. My wife's car, my wife is sitting in her car in, the, in that parking lot. So, and uh, she's, she's just waiting for me. There's a nice, nice dock there overlooking the lake. Uh, last time I tried to go on it, but it was closed due to uh, renovation. So it's a it's a it's a fairly nice area, I think. And uh that looks like a soccer field. And uh this is this is I think this is the point where I hit return to home and uh the drone automatically went to its um uh max uh limit elevation. And you can you can see me on this peninsula here. I'm a I'm one of those tiny little dots, kind of blended into the background. And uh, this is this is kind of a, a, a nice shot, I think. Just uh, you know, the closer the drone gets, the the more you'll be able to make me out. And uh, <laughs> there's another little white dot. And that's actually my photography book that I, I took off from with the drone. So yeah, it was really nice to do a drone video today. This photographer took a picture of the drone. And I'm wearing my NASA cap and my NASA shirt. And just look, looking up at the drone and uh, coming in for a nice smooth landing and uh, I'm, I'm going to ultimately catch it with my hand. So anyways, I'm Daryl Leary and uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Cheers.